Hi there folks, what colors are on here today bringing you uh, quite a retro game because I think I used to own this on um, the original Game Boy and I can't remember if I lost it or sold it but yeah it sort of vanished and um, so yeah this was a game I actually owned but I never actually completed because short attention span and wasn't really into puzzles at that time. But yeah, I did I did enjoy it when I came back to it. A few years later then I sort of forgot about well, I sort of pushed Game Boy games aside until like I uh, recently downloaded the emulator version. So essentially this plays sort of it mixes platformer with uh, Lemmings, as you'll see in a moment once I get in this room. And surprisingly, I didn't know this, but it actually came out for the SNES. Uh, yeah, the SNES. I never knew this had a SNES version. Which plays a lot more better, but the getting the block, like, it isn't as simple as, like, like you can't really stand, you have to stand directly in the middle. So yeah, it's quite it's quite a brutal um, lemming, shall we say, since you have to lure the rats over here to be killed essentially by Bart Simpson. Essentially, that's the whole meaning of the game. But except that, like, but the levels get more and more complex as you go along. And also, you have like um, different enemies to contend with. So like. Uh, um, Oh, PC. You have sna like you have snakes, and I think that's it. I, I haven't really played too much of this per se, so yeah, I'm not exactly the most knowledgeable man in this game. But yeah, to take them out, you don't jump squash them. You just throw, I think they're donuts or balls. I'm not sure. Ooh, oh, damn it. So yeah, sometimes like that's what I'm saying, the puzzle aspect is like you have to get them to certain areas and then they go to get squished by Bart Simpson. What's different is in the SNES version you can't hear them, but in like this one, even if they're gone to where Bart is, you can actually hear them still being going the boof. No. Pray they don't come back down here. And that's the thing I hate about this one. You can't really see where the platform is on this level. Please tell me they're gone. Oh, no idea. Uh, let's have to get them up there. Come on. That's it. Nothing they all go straight in there now. Yep, there they go. <laughs> all getting squished. Ah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. And I think you take about two hits and then you're dead. So I sneak down here. Yep, there is. Ah, you. Ah, I'm gonna turn around. But it's like, as soon as the stars hit, that's when you have to like, rush to avoid damage.
God, I don't even know how people speed run this game when they can barely see where the platform is. Or if they got the timer on, they're fucked. Right. Now I think there's about eight levels, or like seven or eight levels to do. Ah, no! Ah. Oh, you bugger. How the hell do I get that? Oh wait, it's down here. Shit. The only thing is there's a loop on this level, I know. Come back, yeah, there they are. And they loop back. So sometimes it can make the level go even longer when they're caught in a bloody loop. There we go. I just have to wait. Like, you don't even have to wait for them, you just go. God, I don't know how long it's going to take, though. There you go. <laughs> See what I mean? You can hear them in the SNES version. You can't hear it when they're getting pounded to oblivion. Yep, that's all of them. Like automatically, as soon as you touch the door, if you've done all of all of them, it just instantly um, fingers you, exits you from the level. Makes it easier getting past this bit, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Because now after that, cause it makes it harder to uh, take out the snakes because you can't exactly touch them, can you? Uh, I wasn't going to mention this in the video, but I just came across this really horrible looking video game the other day. Well, actually, not the other day, like, like about, uh, how long ago? Like about a few hours ago, I was like, I was checking out games on the PlayStation Store, and I came across this really, hot, like, I was thinking, no, oh, what is this game? This game don't look nothing like anything else I've ever seen. It was called, I think it was Hugwala. No. But yeah, I checked it out, and it was supposed to be a drifting game, but oh my god, it looks so fucking horrid. Like, it was like the cheapest of cheap games I've ever seen in my life. I'm not taking that. Oh yeah, I need to. Him? No, you didn't get him. Oh, go him. Right, where's the other ones? There can't be all of them. Yeah, I noticed there was another, there was like two Hogwarts games, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And I checked out. It, oh, it, was, it just looks so cheap and horrid. And I really, and I, and then I checked the original one. And it was like uh, it's supposed to be a mobile game. A little wonder. It was supposed to be a drifting game. Drifting on straight road game. Oh god.
there's that room, and there's that room. And this is the locked room, which you can't unlock until I think, is it? Until you complete them two, and then you have to go, oh yeah, you go through this area and you have to complete this level. I don't think I've ever done this one in Game Boy. Or did I? Oh no, I did touch this Game Boy one. But yeah, that, that's it. And. Let me stop here. Oh yeah. And to quit the level, you just essentially press select or. Yeah, I think it's select on Game Boy. And it excludes you from the level by the cost of a life, though. So, yeah, that was Krusty's Funhouse by the sadly shut down Acclaim Studio. So, yeah, oh, I wasn't sure whether to record this or not, but I thought I need a retro game to pass the time with. And now I need to go do some washing up, so yeah. <laughs> I'll catch you next time folks. Uh not sure what my next video proper video will be. Like probably I probably might um post clips up of uh God of War because I'm start I started playing that today as well after completing Yakuza 6 which I admit as a man I cried at the end of Yakuza 6. It hit the feels very, very hard. Especially the after, I think it's the after credits bit. It hit the feels so, like, hard. I literally had to like control myself, <laughs> use Zen technique, <laughs> to stop myself from blubbering like a little girl. Ah oh, man. Like, even now, I still feel the feels, but it's like not as strong as last night. But boy. It hit me hard. <laughs> so yeah. Nothing me yapping. I'm gonna end it here. I'll catch you later folks.